Thank you, Norman. And thank you, our customers, our users, our partners, and those of you who are curious about Extreme. Welcome to Extreme Connect. And more importantly, welcome to the Infinite Enterprise. And that is what I want to talk to you about today. As we all start thinking about the post-pandemic world, this is at the top of our mind. This distributed world is at the top of the mind. Some of you are thinking, how are you going to make sure that your global hybrid workforce is functional and successful no matter where they are? Meet the talent where they are. Let them work from wherever they want to work. Some of you are thinking, how are you going to provide education to your students, both in person and online simultaneously, and meet them where they are, literally and figuratively? Some of you are planning how your healthcare services are going to reach out to everybody that requires them, no matter where they are. Some of you are planning solutions to the intricacies of this massively distributed global supply chain. No matter what your business is, in some way or form, you are thinking about what a distributed enterprise means to you and how you are going to reach that and make your business successful. Now, anybody can tell you that the world is getting distributed. But we here at Extreme, we want to talk about how to get there. What are the tools that are at your disposal? What are the technologies and the products that we are creating so you can reach your goal, your way? There are three tenets that we believe are at the core of infinite enterprise. And those three tenets are an infinitely distributed connectivity and scalable cloud and a consumer-centric experience. Let me just quickly define them. What is infinitely distributed connectivity? Well, it's pretty obvious that it allows you to connect anywhere from anybody, for anybody, from anywhere. But this is not just plain old connectivity. This is enterprise-grade connectivity. This is connectivity that is always present, always available, always assured. This is a connectivity that is secure and manageable by you. Now, this connectivity can be on any of the connecting technologies. It could be wired, it could be wireless, it could be IoT, it could be cable, it could be satellite, it could be 5G, or whatever other technologies are present out there. The function, the purpose is to make sure your users, your consumers, your devices are reliably connected back or to each other, no matter where they are. Tenant number one. Tenant number two is, well, if you're gonna have connectivity that is so distributed, well, how are you going to onboard it? How are you going to manage it, to orchestrate it, to observe it, to assure it, to troubleshoot it, and find data and insights from them in a cost-effective fashion? None of us are getting additional budgets to do that. So we have to become more productive. We have to become more efficient. And the only way to do that is by using the power of cloud, but not just any cloud, a cloud that is scalable, that goes with you wherever you want to go in your way and at your pace. That is tenant number two. And tenant number three is we can never lose focus on who we are doing this for. And that is our consumers. That is your consumer, your users, your workers, your students, your patients, your workers in the factories right? Those are the center of this all. So all of these technologies need to come together to deliver and provide that consumer-centric experience. Those are the three tenants that we, you, all of us can start on today and then evolve them as the time goes by so we can all be successful in this post-pandemic world and have successful businesses. Now, as extreme we have been working on producing technologies and products and solutions for these three tenants for a while now. For example, when it comes to distributed connectivity, we introduced the universal platforms late last year. Now, simply, what's the advantage of a universal platform? Well, not only are they built on the latest and greatest generation of ASICs, and they bring in key technologies like being able to run containerized applications directly on the infrastructure or provide these high power budgets so you can use these latest generations of IoT devices, but 
In addition to all of that, it provides you the flexibility that you can use these platforms in whichever use case you want, running whatever OS from Extreme that you might need, all under the umbrella of same license, all under the umbrella of same services, same LLW. That is flexibility. So you can decide how you're going to use them to deliver that connectivity to your consumers. Now, these are not only just for our wired platform, but also our wireless platform. So one infrastructure, universal infrastructure, all the way in the enterprise from data center to campus and beyond in your edge, in your branch, one infrastructure run with the experience of universal platforms, universal experience, and then one cloud to manage them. And that brings me to the cloud, not just any cloud. A cloud that is already, Extreme Cloud IQ, that is already managing all of these capabilities, all of this platform. But look, we don't stop there. We keep adding to it more and more and more, evolving it, making it better based on your feedback, based on the requirements as they evolve. Now, what have we done recently? I talk about infinitely distributed connectivity. Well, in order to manage it, and observe it and troubleshoot it, you need a cloud that is not only scalable, but can be distributed with you, for you. What do I mean by that? Data residency laws, data privacy laws. You know, you want to have your cloud be physically present in some of the areas that you're distributing. We are the only cloud that has more than 60 regional data centers around the globe, and we keep adding more and more and more every quarter. Why? So that it can scale and distribute alongside you. A distributed cloud brings up all of these concerns around data privacy, data security. Well, not only are we saying that we are working on it diligently, we actually keep getting more and more ISO certification and SOX audit to give you that peace of mind to make sure that you are comfortable using it either in the public cloud, in the private cloud, or directly at your edge. So we have been pretty busy. We have been adding more and more application, more and more functionality into our cloud, be it eGuest, be it WIPS, be it NAC. All of these things are coming together in your cloud, again, to give you an experience that is uniform, it's universal, so you can deliver that connectivity and experience for your consumers. Now, there's a lot more that we are doing. There's so many different things that you will hear about, new features, new products, new functionality, new ways in which we are removing complexity from your day-to-day -day life so you can do your job better. And you will hear them throughout this program, a lot of different sessions from product managers, product marketing people, salespeople, and more importantly, other customers who are using those technologies today. But I want to highlight two specific ones that are very near and dear to my heart. Now, First of them is Copilot. The planes that we fly every day, they have been using a Copilot for, gosh, forever. Don't you wish you had a Copilot as you go through your life, through your work? We all do. And now we are delivering, but not just any Copilot. This Copilot is not just built on any AI and ML technology. This is built on explainable AI. Now, why is that important? Simple fact, trust. Do you trust every alert that is generated by the applications out there when there are numerous ones of those, so many of them that you're desensitized and you just shut them down? No, you don't. Why? Because we want to know how did that alert happen? Why did we get to that inside? Why is that analysis real and true? And explainable AI is the advancement in AI that allows you to get that surety and build that trust. In Copilot, number one, based on the technology we have put in, we guarantee that you will get 99% error-free alerts, only the alerts that you need that are relevant to you. And by the way, for each one of them, we can explain how did we get to that? And by the way, you can actually respond whether that is useful to you or not. And the more you interact, the better it gets. Explainable AI so you can trust it and you can focus on what is important. Now, I'm very happy to announce that starting June of this year, 
we will enable this functionality for all of our subscribers of Extreme Cloud IQ as we roll into our public beta for Copilot. Exciting time, keep an eye out for you. Check it out, use it, reach out to your sales team, reach out to your services team to make sure you can really understand and harness the power of this explainable AI. So very exciting. Now, the second thing, which I'm so excited about announcing is in a very different portion of the portfolio. And this is about connectivity. This is about the topic that is top of everybody's mind, which is 5G. Now, I can go into the details of 5G, but suffice it to say that this technology is going to enable use cases that we have never imagined before. Low latency, high throughput, right there at the edge. Uh, these are great use cases for enterprises, but that's a topic for another day. Right now, I wanna talk about the explosive growth of traffic, not just from the consumers, but all of these new use cases, IoT devices, businesses that is happening and will continue to happen with 5G and requires a new generation, a built from ground up generation of network visibility systems and solutions. I am absolutely excited to announce the 9000 series from Extreme, which is that solution for some of our largest service provider customers out there and some of our largest enterprise customers out there, a system that is built from ground up on flexible programmable ASICs, P4 architecture from Intel barefoot that delivers you that high performance flexibility programmability on the fly for your visibility needs, for your network packet broker needs. And look, a brand new generation that is purpose-built for 5G for these cloud-native infrastructures that demand a new OS, which is also cloud-native and demands a new application to orchestrate that, that is also cloud-native. So along with that, we introduce the new OS running on 9000 and the XVM application that goes with it. I am so excited to see what our service provider and our large enterprise customers are going to be able to accomplish with that. Now, these are only two of the new things that we are doing. And in each one of them, our focus is towards delivering the best possible experience for you who are our consumers. And then in turn, you can create an experience for your consumer that is exactly what they need, when they need it, and how they need it. The infinite enterprise is here. The world is getting distributed. And we all need to make sure that we can define this for our businesses and we can chart a path to success. We all need to make sure that our workers can work from anywhere and be effective and be useful. We all need to make sure that people can get educated in person, online, simultaneously, without a problem. We all need to make sure that healthcare services are available to everybody everywhere. We all need to make sure that whatever our businesses are, whatever our goal is, we chart a path towards that. And my friends, that path starts today, now, with focusing on three things, providing that connectivity that is always available, making that step towards that cloud that can help you not only onboard it, but manage it and troubleshoot it and find data from that and focusing always maniacally on the experience for your consumers. I know technology can be daunting. We are here to help. Please go through all of these sessions in this program where you'll find a lot more information and then you will have more questions. Reach out to us in whatever way. We are here for your success, for you, our, our users, our customers, our partners, and those who are simply curious about Extreme. I am so delighted that you could join us. And now I'm gonna hand it back to Norman and Ed so that we can continue the program. Have a wonderful day and welcome to the Infinite Enterprise.